sorry everyone. So, I've decided on making the, the ultimate controller design. See, I've always liked this one for the for the Xbox. Gaming. Because it's got the buttons here, so you can if you if you want to press them here, you can claw grip it. And you can claw grip the buttons and it's pretty good. And it's got a nice D-pad, but I don't really care about that. And the sticks, the sticks are really nice and clicky. They don't they don't go like up. They go in. And that's nice, and you can click them, and that's good, and I like that. And the PS4 controller is pretty good too, because it's got this touchpad, and the touchpad is nice, and that's. I like it, I like it, okay? It's just convenient, you can put loads of stuff on it, and you can use this with Steam, and you can use this one with Steam too, and that is good and epic and cool, and I like that. It's good in Mario, and I like it. And then the, one of my favourites is this GameCube one, and it's pretty good, because it's got these little notches here. So you can like, when you move around, you know, you can like hit sweet spots. So if you want to go exactly straight or exactly diagonal, it's really good for fighting games and stuff. And it fits your hand really nice. And it also has these, um, these depth triggers. And like, the PS4 has this touchpad and this has these depth triggers. And they're both on the Steam controller and that's really good. But it's not laid out like this, with this little claw thing you can grab. And that's really good too. So they've all got things that are good about them, but I want something optimal. And let's just say I'm sitting on the couch, I don't want to use a mouse and keyboard. Um, so I, I did I did 10 years of engineering. So it took two hours. Ah! 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 And I, I've become the ultimate engineer. I've, I've invented the perfect controller. And here it is. I present to you the Steam Claw. It's a steam controller with touch pads and gyro and all that good stuff for aiming. <laughs> you can claw grip it, see, and use it. And it's it's optimal. It's even got a nice little octagonal gate with the GameCube controller. It's got sticky you can click here if you want the clicky stick. It's got all your buttons here. There's a few stuff I'd like on it, like back buttons and stuff. I'd also like for it to plug in and actually work. Because um, it doesn't work right now. I've even built a grip out of an old little plastic tube here, so you can you can you can aim, you can shoot, you can click, you can click on baddies. It's actually from here that this side with the Joy-Con not so much, but this side's actually really comfortable, like unironically. Um, technically, if I put a Wii remote in here. And I connected this via Steam, and you can actually connect this to Bluetooth via Steam. The stick one, but the buttons do. You could use the jar and the touchpads. I mean, the Wii remote would be a pain to like connect to a PC, but you could, you could technically use this. And I'd love to like actually go into it and make a demonstration, but I'm I'm lazy, and this is this is as funny as I get. So there you go. I'm not. I'm an engineer. Now. This is my new thing. I used a, almost a whole reel of tape. There you go. It's, that's the joke. Garfield on DVD. Hey,